This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. Hey, Brewski. My name's Crystal. I'm from Minnesota. And um, I've had a couple experiences in my life, like a lot of people on here, um, I consider myself a spiritual intuitive. Um, it's kind of a long story, but I won't go into that. I'll just dive right into um, one of my recent ghost stories that I've had. Um, so I moved into this house um, with a roommate of mine, and um, <clears throat> I started having some experiences as she was staying away at her boyfriend's and I was home alone for a couple weeks. Um, Anyway, so I would come home from work and I would just hear this relentless knocking. And I actually lost sleep over a, a, a whole week because I heard this knocking right above my head. Um, and my bedroom is downstairs. So it sounds like somebody's upstairs knocking right above my head. Anyway, so I'm like, well, this is kind of freaky because, you know, it's not, it doesn't sound like pipes or anything like that or the house settling because it's consistent three knocks just like that it's always it was always three and I was like well that's that's great I've seen the conjuring that really that's really settling (laughs) uh but anyway so uh I I just kind of try to shake it off and whatever and um I was home alone another night and I was like oh I'm finally not hearing the knocking thank god started like getting ready to go to bed and then suddenly I hear three knocks really loud, um, very distinct human knocks on my bedroom door, which is downstairs. Freak the living daylights out of me. I can't go upstairs and out the door to get the hell out of here because I'm in the basement and that's the only way out. And I did not want to open the door. I was freaked out. I was messaging my friend. Like, I'm like, what do I do? And she's like, someone like, what if someone's in the house? And I'm like, I don't think anyone's in here. Um, but anyways, I did open the door immediately. Um, I just didn't go upstairs, but yes, I opened the door immediately because sometimes my roommate, when she's home, she'll knock on the door because she wants to come down and do some laundry. So I said, Hey Jenna, um, is that you? And open the door right away. Nobody's there. I looked up the stairwell. I didn't go upstairs, um, because I was freaked out. Nobody nobody was there so I was like okay if somebody was in the house there's no way they could have gotten up that it's a pretty tough it's a pretty long flight of stairs so nobody could have gotten up that flight of stairs that quickly um and so I was like oh great it's like the three knocks it's the same knocks as what's been going on above me so this ghost clearly is like oh you're not gonna listen to my knocks well I'm gonna knock on your bedroom door then And I was like, oh my God, I was so scared. Like, that's when I started messaging my friends. I kind of got my story messed up there. I started messaging my friends and um, asked them what to do. And they were like, oh, that's freaky. Um, Make sure nobody's in your house kind of a thing. And um, it took me about an hour to work up the courage to go upstairs. But I finally did. Um, Nobody was there. All the doors were locked. There was no sign of intrusion. There's no window in the basement that somebody could have gotten into. Um, they would have had come through my room and out the door. I guess that doesn't really make any sense. So um, anyways, and even before all the knocking started, um, I felt like somebody was constantly watching me, which I know is kind of a cliche, but um, I've had an experience where I was correct. So, you know, I don't know. Um So basically, I was like, well, how is there a ghost here? This is a house that was built in 1990. Nothing bad's happened in it. Um, So I kind of, I looked into it a little bit. And apparently, the foundation of this house was built in 1888. Kind of funny, literally 100 years before I was born. And so I was like, well, could have been a ghost from that time. And for some reason, I felt like it was a female presence. And it was like a younger female Um, So what I did was um, I actually bought some Palo Santo wood, which is like sage on crack. It's basically 
it it's, it cleanses your house and um, it smells really good too. So that's kind of a bonus. But I, I, uh, I'm like, I felt really weird, but I was like, I'm going to have a conversation with this ghost. I don't want this knocking anymore because at this point I was staying in the upstairs bedroom that locks because my bedroom doesn't lock because I was so terrified and I was dreading going home every day. And I'm like, I don't want to live like this. So I um, used Palo Santo wood on the house and I walked around and I said, you know what? I know you're here. I hear you're knocking. You don't have to continue knocking. Um, if you want to stay here, that's totally fine. Just please don't scare me and don't scare my roommate and please don't knock anymore. And then nothing happened for a while. And I was like, oh, cool. They were respectful. And then um, there was only one more experience that I've had since then. And um, I was sitting upstairs and I heard the three knocks on the front door. It's like wherever I'm at, this, this ghost has got to knock, like at the closest spot to where I'm at and so I hear the three knocks on the front door and this time um the dogs were home so one of the dogs uh went up to the window and looked outside so I'm like okay it's not just in my head um and I looked outside right away and there was nobody there and um a couple minutes later I look and there's actually a window on the front door and I I can see the top of a forehead through the window and this is late at night like there wouldn't be any kids out there wouldn't be any there wouldn't be anybody at the door this late um but all I could see was the forehead because you know this this figure wasn't tall enough for me to see the whole head it looked like a kid so I could see the forehead and the hair and it was really creepy because it like was facing the door and then it turned and then it disappeared and immediately I went up to the door and opened it to make sure that maybe it, you know the, the neighbors have kids maybe it was a neighbor and sure enough there was nobody there so that's the last knocking that I've heard luckily I haven't heard it anymore since then um but that was really creepy to actually see something and um I can't tell you how terrifying it is to have three knocks on your on on it on your bedroom door let alone not be able to go outside and escape the house because <laughs> that's the door that goes upstairs <laughs> to the outside. Um, so, yeah, um, I definitely think that it's a lot scarier to experience than to just hear about it. But, um, yeah, so that's my experience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm not a VPP because I'm broke, but eventually plan to be. So hopefully you put this on the air. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's my ghost that I decided to name Misty. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you guys have yourself a great October. And uh, thank you so much for doing the show. It entertains me at work. Thanks. Bye. This has been a grave confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your grave confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888 446 7813.